listen, Music. welcome to episode Ciao. 31 of the Weird Brunch Podcast. Hey, I thought this was 30. Is it? It's 30. Let's see. Last week was 29. Welcome to episode 30 of the Where's Brunch Podcast. Oh man, we hype over here, yo. Hey. That gets we should play that every week <laughs> we to should. get us hype. <laughs> That's I'm our a, hype song. I'm gonna get up and dance. Listen, man. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sweating over here right so now. Am I. And I've been sweating since we've been in the car. <laughs> Shoot. I've been dancing the Check left. our Instagram stories. Oh, it's too late by the yeah, time you hear this. Say, but listen. We should have posted that to our to our timeline. That's listen. The way I've been dancing this evening. I love it, man. Woo. Cheers to us. I love it. Oh, cheers to us. <laughs> this is called building community. <laughs> Shout out to Unwind, Jess at Unwind. Jessica. What's up, Jess? Jess. We just came back from Unwind. Hold on. Jess is a... <laughs> Jess. Jess. Jess over at Unwind. Supporter. Applause and horn. Listener. Supporter, shared, watcher, watcher she all those things. She watches the pod. She loves us. And Jess, um, we got some Paloma, frozen pro- Paloma, and prickly pear Paloma, mm. and froze, froze mm. um, while we were at the our neighborhood wine shop. This Paloma is delicious. And this Frosé. That Frosé is out of this world. It tastes like, I don't know what else is in this. You've been holding Ooh. on to that for a little bit. Mm. I saw you came in, you, you came in here. You looked, I did the swipe. You, 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 she did the swipe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Swipe, one has, F1 has a P. She, she put the P over my. I gave it a P. I think she she didn't connect that P to confuse me a little bit. She I wrote gave, the letters on it. I gave you the P. Oh, pause. <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> If you see these dogs in your front yard, uh, just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong. Bing bong. Yo. <sighs> How are you, man? I'm feeling fabulous. Mm. How are you today? You look today? great. Thank you. Your outfit just crushed today. Thank you so much. It's an outfit. The bad. hair is like boom pow. Oh, the, the new haircut. Yes. I got a haircut a couple of weeks ago. You swiping your bangs on I'm me right now? swiping my bangs. You swipe your bangs? <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> took real good. Yo. Thank you, honey. Sneakers, sneakers is popping. Thank you, the sneakers. I wore an outfit all by you today. Oh yeah, I did buy you, you that dress. You bought me this dress, didn't I? You did. And the sneakers. Shout out to Everlane. The sneakers. My dress is Everlane. In case you guys are wondering. And the sneakers I have on today were Air Max. Nike Air Max. Um, the great indoors joint. The great the, the indoors. first, the first iteration of the great indoors, not oh, the brand new ones. I'm trying not to get him to eat that. Bings. Uh, Bings is now there eating, eating his Don't eat that. toys. Oh Jesus! <laughs> he's like he la- he's like if I lay down on my side and look pitiful and eat the toy, then okay. So um, yes. yeah, you look amazing. Um, you. you smelled great today. What, what's what's this new thing you got going? on? <laughs> What's this new scent? I'm, I'm wearing Fenty perfume. Mm. Um, oh, you did speak about that in the last pod a little bit. That I was considering. I was on the fence about nah, getting right. it. And then I got a small bottle because I've never smelled it before. And I didn't know how it would work with my body composition. Because you know how sometimes stuff don't last on your body? Like you spray it and it's gone? Yeah. This stuff? Do you want to eat it? It's there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh no! So it really—they say when Rihanna wears it, she smells delicious. So I just want to make sure. I just need to know if you want to eat me mm-hmm. because you know it does really smell amazing. I mean, it depends on how I feel. You'll definitely get bitten. Okay, I'm down for the bite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? I sent my dad a little video of Pitbull beating up a coyote earlier. I come from a long line of purebreds. Lord have mercy. Um, We're already going here. Yeah, we just listen today. <laughs> let, let me just let, let me do what black folks do. Yeah, and like twenty minutes into the conversation, say first of all, first of all, <laughs> fuck driving to Baltimore from Ooh, Alexandria, Virginia. Wow, it was a day. It was a day of traffic. Completely worth going up there. Absolutely. One of my um my my man Joe's his daughter. And I'll just call her my goddaughter, Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? She graduated from college Morgan today. Morgan State, congratulations. Morgan State. Shout out to Kennedy. 
black excellence, hey. black brilliance. She's hey. a very smart young woman yes. and a hustler on top of that. Yes. Um, she got her stuff together. I'm, I'm very, very proud of her so and proud. them. Yes. As a family. Yes. And congratulations, you know, congratulations to the parents. That's right. Because the parents are rearing these new individuals coming into society as Listen. adults and college graduates. So congratulations to the parents. Congratulations to the Samsons. To the Samsons. To the family. It was so good. I got to talk to, to Morgan today, too. We was talking about family. It was Morgan's stuff. so dope, man. I it's love like, it. Look. I, you know, I Morgan goes to FAMU, and not to take away from Kennedy because yes. today is her day for sure. Yes, and uh, but this is Samson's day, right? Yay. And um, and shout out to them, man. I love them, you know what I'm saying? It's family, and Morgan is just Morgan has always been for me. Um, I just knew she was gonna be great, yeah. I always did. I've been saying the same thing for a long time, and her going to uh, she's in FAMU for her going to college it's just like a stepping stone she could really be in the industry mm-hmm. s- directing some videos doing it she can be doing all t- at this age she's just got done with she's her ready. freshman year mm-hmm. she is out of here so she, her creativity is so crazy i just love to see the confidence yeah i love to see that the planning the future yeah what she's working on she's telling me about her team yeah. So congratulations and congratulations to Kennedy for walking up in there like Kennedy. a superstar. You saw the outfit today? Yes, come on, outfit. <laughs> yes, outfit. Shout out to the outfit. Yeah. That's, That's how you celebrate your today. graduation, damn it. She did step in there with style. Yes, yeah. she did. It was such a great event. So great to see family. She's so graceful. Yes. She reminds me of Tiffany so much. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's great. It's the, the family. Everybody came from yeah, out of town. Yeah, that's what it's about. Your family coming to celebrate you from out of town, celebrating you graduating college. You know, it was just a All great. From Arizona, from, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Ohio, hey. from New York and Jersey, you North know. Carolina. That's one thing I got to give them. The family unit is nuts. Now, on both sides, they yeah, come together. They come together. That's a beautiful thing. It's dope. It's so amazing. I'm so happy for them. And congratulations, hey. Kennedy, on your graduation. Congratulations, man. We we got a card for Kennedy. And yes. then we also got a card for the, the parents. parents. Joe and, <laughs> Joe and uh, Tiff. Because they need to be celebrated for, for that. Like, if, if it wasn't for them, Kennedy wouldn't be in a position that she's Absolutely. in today. Pause. You know what I mean? Yes, parents do a lot. And parents be tired. They be you tired, graduate, yo. You graduate a child from college, let me tell you, you tired. Mm-hmm. You are, woo. You're like, oh, Lord, child. You know what that feels like. Over you got one bridge. that graduated. I got one that graduated. Got Praise the Lord. Away. She graduated. She got a job. She's out here at Bryson Tiller concert tonight. She is doing her thing. Okay, she's put her out, her, you put her out there in the street. You put her business out there in the streets, she man. She is living her best life. By the time y'all hear this, the concert will have happened already. Mm-hmm. She is living her best best and Taj and Taj Taj's on his way Taj is graduating next year he graduated he got two more semesters left though I got two more semesters of paying that that tuition, monthly bill tuition tuition tuition, tuition, that tuition, tuition. is no joke yo. so what's your, what's your first purchase gonna be when you ain't gotta pay tuition um, probably a pair of ballys or something oh. Probably be my third or fourth one by then. <laughs> I'm buying some soon. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be. Maybe I get another. Get some more cameras, man. Oh, okay. We got to bulk up the situation, but we want to get that under the umbrella. We'll talk business off the air. Yes. But we want that to fall. But that I said, fall under the umbrella. when Kennedy graduates, my Kennedy graduates, I'm getting a plane ticket. The price you of did, tuition. You did say that on the way the home. The price of a semester of tuition. I'm getting a plane, a luxury. You said, uh, you, no, let's be clear. You said you're going to spend $2,500 on, oh, a, a, plane on a ticket. ticket. Yes. So are you going to call Are you going to call the airport like back in the day and say, listen. <laughs> can I get a ticket? <laughs> where can I go for 2500 $2, Not less. <laughs> Listen, I want it to be first class, uh, business class. If we we travel in nineteen hours, listen, we might mess around and be in Australia. <laughs> Australia, the, oh, the, oh, I can go too. <laughs> you can go too because you ain't say nothing about but, me in the car. But my ticket is twenty twenty five. Oh, I might be, I might be back there in coach. So listen, <laughs> it's up to me. You got to get your ticket because you ain't gonna be paying tuition neither. No if more. y'all haven't realized, all of our money don't just go in <laughs> one big pot. Not yet. Maybe maybe <laughs> ten years down the line. We're maybe we say, you know it. what, we tired. Yeah. We just put it all in one pot. And I don't know. Right now, if yeah. I want to fly first class with her, I got to buy my own <laughs> ticket. We may or may not sit next to each other. 
Because <laughs> she going to buy her ticket when I'm not even around. Oh and I'm going to have to catch up. Oh. oh, my God. Clearly. I didn't realize how that sounded. No, 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 no. We here. This is, <laughs> the red light is on. This is recording. Okay, well, dearest, love of my love. <laughs> Do we have to get tipsy before we shoot this podcast every time for it to really be entertaining? I don't know. It kind of feels like that. That's All me. I know is when I ain't got to pay tuition no more, that plane ticket is getting purchased. Listen, I don't man. know if we going to the Maldives. I don't know where we go. We flying Emirates, whatever it is, that the plane ticket, is, that's what the price of my ticket is going to be. I'm going to sip champagne. I'm going to take a shower on the Plain. I'm changing into PJs. Also, oh, a lot I'm, of eyes. A lot I'm, of eyes. No eye teams, huh? I'm, I'm luxuriating. What does it mean? I'm, it's us. Okay. <laughs> we are luxuriating. Luxuriating. Okay. We are putting all kinds of things when tuition payments are done. Uh, Persian, Hallelujah. Persian shea butter. Because you're and... about to act a fool next year when your tuition is done being paid. I already know it. She tells no lies. <laughs> She tells no lies. I got so. a whole nother year after you. A, a, year. Sh- a whole nother year. Okay? <laughs> I'm watching you act a straight rabbit ass fool. I'm doing pretty good as far as geniuses go. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to be mad. I'm, I'm be li- mad. Listen, I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> this is what I'm telling y'all. I'm not going to say how much I spend per month, <laughs> per semester, right? Five payments. We split it up in payments because they be acting stupid. <laughs> um, but I paid. My son goes to FIT. It's the Fashion Institute of Technology in, in uh, Manhattan, New York City. Mm-hmm. And he ain't got no scholarships. <laughs> he ain't got no. We ain't not doing no aid. Yeah. We, me and his mom split tuition down the middle. Ooh. And we pay for his tuition every month. Ooh. So y'all go ahead and Google it. <laughs> <laughs> At least my child is an RA. Google okay? it. Yeah. <laughs> She's an RA. We got in state tuition privileges. But um uh And I'm paying for his half of his rent and, and uh utilities, which may continue. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, if I feel froggy. He don't watch this shit anyway, so he don't know. So if I decide not to, he won't know the difference. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> so yeah. <laughs> New York City, Brooklyn, mm. Manhattan. Mm. It's all good, man. Ooh. It's worth it at the end of the day. So with all that said, mm-hmm. we went all the way to Baltimore to celebrate Kennedy. Yes. And the Samsons. Mm-hmm. And dri- driving there was fine. Yeah, it was a smooth drive. There was a little bit of traffic in, in Maryland when we were getting into the Baltimore region. Right. But for the most part, it was smooth. But graduation itself was at 930 in the morning. And mm-hmm. we live in Virginia, so that's yeah. a two-hour trek for us. We decided not to do that. Mm-mm. We decided to show up for the celebration at 2 o'clock. Yes. Right? We Which is early. a great idea. We were, we were early. early. Yes. Damn, I left my vinyl in, in the car. You did? Yes, I left my vinyl in the car. Okay. I just realized well, we that because I bought some vinyl when I, when yes. we were out there, um, and because we were early, and then um, we, you know we had a good time with everybody, and then we had to drive home. Oh my gosh! And it took us BW Parkway. Now, anyway, I'm not sure if you guys out there, I use map, I use Google Maps all the time mm-hmm. just to possibly avoid traffic and accidents. Mm-hmm. If they happen in different places, it'll do that for you. Yeah. So it took us BW Parkway. Yeah. What happened? We were sitting there. <laughs> Yo. We were sitting there. We were sitting there and we were sitting in a dead zone at some point. The music went the out. The music just stopped. Like there was just nothing. We're just sitting there. A couple of times, uh, one time the government police vehicle came through the middle. But here's my thing. Pause. Pause. If you're going to have me sitting in traffic. Give me something to see at some point when the traffic breaks. If there's an accident, I want to see it. I want to see the accident. I want to see wreckage. I want to see the people on the side of the road. I want to see something. But not her. Like, you mean people like seeing, waiting on the no, side I mean, of the road. I want to see the cars on the side of the road oh, waiting for the tow damn. truck, waiting for AAA, whatever they doing. I want to see it, okay? <laughs> I want to see it to give me justification for but the additional the 25 minutes of slow rolling yes. that we were doing on BW Parkway. Listen, man. And we got nothing. There was no, there was no cars. 
There were no people. There was no fender bender. Th- there weren't even emergency assistance anywhere. Nothing. Just all of a sudden, it just opened up. But you know, the tow trucks might have got there and and got everybody out of the You don't lie. I, I want to see something. Tow trucks don't move that fast. Tow, they would. You don't know when it happened, baby. It might. It gotta happen. Yeah, but we were sitting there. <laughs> we were sitting there. Yeah, it was rough, yo. So yeah. it took us a long time to get back to the VA side. Yes. And then um, we decided to, we have more events going on tomorrow. Yes. Right? Sunday low, fun day. Sunday fun day. Low. Or sip, Sunday sip day. Sunday, Sunday sipping something. Sip, it's a Sunday. little here. shindig being happening here in the building. In the building. Mimosas and snacks. Yes. We need to go to Wegmans in the morning and get snacks. Oh, okay. Um, So we had to stop by, we decided to stop by our favorite wine bar as we expressed in the beginning, Unwind. Unwind. Uh, Yeah. 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 That's family. That's family. They're family now. They are. They're family. They are really. They're family. Everybody in there. Just magnificent. Yep. Just so um, family and welcoming and just everything. Just great. And then what happened when we got to Unwind? We, we, (laughs) We got these... We got, we got these, these frozen. <laughs> we got these frozen drinks. beverages. Yes, we were talking to Jess, and I saw that this. we held on to until we got home mm. before we started drinking. Right? No, I was drinking in a car. Hey, man, that's not that's not. You what? Know what I'm we don't want to bring the heat on the people. Bring what? Heat on. I on wasn't wine. driving. Yeah, you weren't. That's true. I was in the passenger seat. That's true. So we could get to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. What else? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna bring heat on family. I'm not it? trying to bring heat on them, but they packed it to go for us. I know they did, baby. And they gave me straw. Yes, they did. <laughs> I hope that's all above ground there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's all good to go. But go and ahead. We have some pet nat that we purchased. Yeah, we'll drink that in the second half we'll of the show. Tr- second half of the show, we'll drink that. And we were checking out, and we saw Chet. Oh, um, Brett. Brett. We saw Brett. Um, shout out to Brett and shout Nikki. Shout out to Brett and they Nikki. They got married. They got married. And they work on the other side at Revel, which is a restaurant. I feel like we need to have like a meet and greet or something. We got to go to Revel. Revel, yeah. Yeah, we need to Ooh, have a happy meet hour meet Ooh. and greet. Ooh. I'm always here. Ooh. I'm, always, I'm, I'm shooting on all cylinders here. I'm shooting Ooh. on all cylinders. Shooting on all Where's cylinders. Where's brunch meet and greet yes. at, 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 at uh, Revel? Revel? Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 indeed. Jess, did you hear that? Okay. Super soon. Yes, super soon. We need to do. They a have a, they have a brunch there too. Yes, they do. So, um, we saw Brett and we paid. We cashed out. We paid. I like tapped the card, walked away, hugging Brett, all the stuff. Everything's on the, on the bar, and then just hands us a baguette of bread. She's like, "Here, take some bread with you." Yes. <laughs> so there's a whole baguette of bread near that I'm so ready to warm up and dip in oil. That was. We talking about the bread still? Dipping in oil. Are we still talking about the bread? <laughs> is what I'm asking. <laughs> she said, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, listen. <laughs> I'm here for it. Oh, um, <laughs> to Trina. <laughs> <laughs> she is gone. <laughs> Listen, she wants to dip in oil and what? What was it? What'd you say? Dip in oil and what? Dip in oil and I don't know something. I don't know. I lost track. Um, yeah, she gave us the gigantic loaf of a, uh, a French bread. Baguette. Do <laughs> you need me to take over for a few minutes? I need to cut your mic off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. I thought that was on purpose. <laughs> she is. If y'all can see her, people listening, if y'all can see her, right? we having a good time today. I just want to dip it in oil. <laughs> she just dipping in oil over here. Like, yo, hey, hey. Okay. I'm um. Done. Yeah. So she gave us a big ass loaf of bread. Just like, yo, it's. I think that was the moment I realized I was happy to be back in Virginia because <laughs> I don't think anyone in Maryland would ever give me a loaf of French bread. Yeah, a baguette, baby. It's a baguette. Isn't it French bread though? Yeah, but yeah. I don't. If I want to say baguette, baguette, I won't say baguette. I won't say not, French bread. It's not a loaf though. A loaf is just a slice thing. Whatever, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And baguette. Yes. You break it off, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I'm so ready. And so then you went to the ABC store. I don't cut the bread with a knife. I rip it like a man's supposed to. You rip it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. Rip it and dip it. 
and dip it. I'm ripping the bread and dipping it. We have enough olive oil here. We have so many olive oils here, ladies and gentlemen. We can dip in all types of flavors of oil. Mm-hmm. So, um, what were you about to ask me? So we left there with the <laughs> with the frosé and the paloma and the mm-hmm. bread and three bottles of wine, mm-hmm. right? Three or two? You got two. Three. Three bottles of wine, and then I had to go to the ABC to get some Saint Germain to spice up these, to spruce up these uh, mimosas at this little event tomorrow. So yeah, and we finally made it home, and then rain was coming in. It, it, so we were thinking about, we we're considering going out to watch the fight tonight. Oh, it's raining. It's crazy outside, mm-hmm. and we, it took us a long time to get back here from Baltimore. It took a very long time, and getting home, it just makes you realize how much you love being home. Listen, there's going to be some comfortable PJs, a kimono, and whatever I'm ordering for dinner. And then we still, you're right, and yeah. we still had to shoot the pot. Yeah, we had to do this. I kind of forgot about this, because I was like, oh, wait, oh, oh. Are we doing that tomorrow? No. no. I'm like, no, I got to edit tomorrow. So I'm going to have yeah. to go to this little mimosa thing and then come back and edit for the rest of the day. Wow. You know what I mean? So And that um, mimosa thing, I'm sure it's going to be crazy tomorrow. It's going to be cool. It'll be chill. It'll we'll be see cool. how it goes, you know, though. I can't wait. We're going to meet neighbors. Meet neighbors. Yeah, That's we get to meet thing. neighbors. It's like a social event. Our social coordinators in our building are doing this so the neighbors can meet each other. So it's whether you've been here two weeks or two years. Years. That's get to right. Meet your neighbors. Look at you. I know. Like a commercial over I there. Am. I'm great. So that's why we um I think this is more like a combination of alcohol and delirium. <laughs> that's why we so turned up right now. And the music. Right? And the music. Oh, listen, we've been listening to some music today, okay? We this have, day. yo. We've been listening to some great you music. Said set it, when Set It Off came on in the car, <sighs> oh my God. Nine minutes of 12 seconds of pure crazy. The song It's like three <laughs> songs in one. <laughs> it really is. Y'all know that song? Set, set It, it off, off by oh Strafe, God. y'all. Oh my God, that's a classic. That's it was released favorite. in 1984, she and it, it still slaps it, today and if you know some of the greek letter organizations they actually step to that song Mm. a lot but if you just listen to set it off it was one of my favorite songs as a kid i remember it being out and me playing with my barbie townhouse Mm. and it playing on my red boom box and me trying to sing the song and and teach my barbies and pull the string because my barbie townhouse had an elevator (laughs) she had to pull the string yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember that i remember that and and that song brings me back to my childhood and then just as an adult and then finding the song looking for the song on itunes finding it purchasing it because if you go on title you can't find the version you can't find it out there no it's on itunes only it's on oh iTunes only. Really? I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. I bought That's it. Silly, I bought it on iTunes. And you, so you have it downloaded on your phone. Yeah, so it's saved. It's mine. I paid. Is it still for out it. there? I it. I think it's still out there, but it I, is not. No, on iTunes title. is dead now, right? Did they get rid? Of, they got rid of mm-hmm. iTunes. Right? Well, no, it's still there. You don't have to there. do it. You don't have to look yeah. anything up. It's still there because they're offering me like. The, oh no, it's called Apple Music. Right? Apple Music. That's right. Yeah. They got rid of iTunes. And made so the they Apple got rid of Apple. Um, they got rid of iTunes. And now they're offering me three months of Apple Music. Um, for free, and I still haven't signed up for it. They gave it to me with my phone, but I have music that I bought, bought like my Prince music, mm-hmm. all my Prince catalogs. I actually uploaded my CDs to my iTunes. Oh, did you way back when when it was ah. iTunes? So when we were listening to those Prince songs, those were all my CDs. Who is it by again? Strafe, S T R. Oh, it's not. It's oh no, this is a remix. It's a remix. Trust it's a me, remix I looked. On title. I Ooh, looked. wow. So I bought the original version over there on on iTunes. That's interesting. A million years ago. That's interesting. I'm glad you, you know, did that. Yes. Otherwise, you had to go to YouTube. Yeah. So nine minutes on. Nine minutes and twelve seconds. Mm. It was like the song was about to end, and he came back with he a did. minute and ten <laughs> seconds left. I told and her, started singing again. I told <laughs> Trina while the beat was playing after his first, you no, know, he got done with his verses. He probably went and snorted some coke or something. <laughs> Took his shirt off. Like decided to start singing again. <laughs> he came back <laughs> and sang some more at the eight, seven, to seven and a half minute mark or so. Gangsta. Gangsta. But classic. It is. I love that the song. Twenty nine years. It's about to be thirty years old. That's crazy. And it's rocking. Slaps. Set it off. 
Are we going to be able to get to actual topics in this <laughs> podcast today? I don't know. So let's try. We were advised. Back to drinking. Back to drinking. <laughs> first of all, can we t- can we toast? First of all. <laughs> first of all, can we toast to being nominated by our peers as podcast hey. of the year? We are nominated, y'all. We are nominated. Shout out to the Hugh Society. Shout out to the Hugh Society, who's all about bringing community, building community, Exposing folks to wine and spirits um, from the BIPOC community. Yes, yes, um, yes. Exposing us to wine, exposing us to experiences, exposing us to building more community, coming together, learning. They have study sessions. They have tasting events. They have wine tours. They do all of these things. And the Wine and Culture Fest, which is happening in uh, July, at the Atlanta. end of July in Atlanta. I will be attending because along, I want to attend. The- Cause I want to attend. Are, are you gonna go? I don't know if I'm going or not. Okay, but you should probably go. not. I don't know though. You should go. So the Wine and Culture Fest is going to be happening the last weekend in July, and during the Wine and Culture Fest is the Rose and Rose Roses and Rose Awards dinner banquet, etc. And we were nominated for an award for best podcast. <laughs> Which is pretty huge, considering we're Still. we're like thirty podcasts in. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're and not we, even that at that we point. We do drink wine on the podcast. Yes, we talk a little bit about the wine. Yes, um, but we're not like necessarily a wine. Podcast. But we're in the we we're all, all already in the industry. We're you know in the I mean? wine I'm and on spirits. the whiskey side. I'm, yeah, I'm in the spirit side, mm-hmm. and you're on the wine side, yes. and and you know what I'm saying so that. Two people coming together to do a podcast. They recognize hey. that. It's, it's dope. Let's, let's toast to that for let's real. Let's toast to that. Toast this to is that a Vermentino Pet Net out of Australia that we're sipping tonight. All right. Y'all ever had Pet Nets before? Go ahead. Pet Nets. You, right. you can sip for. Right, Yo, Pet Nets is wild, man. Yeah. Let me yeah. giving off some. The nose on this thing is serious. Oh, wow. Yeah? Oh, wow. Now you talk to the people. I'm about to sip. Okay, so if you don't know about Pet Nat, it's a it's a bubbly of sorts. Um, it's the wine in its natural state, hence mm. the Pet Nat. Uh, the fermentation process is different from, say, a champagne uh, or a sparkling wine. So it's the lighter end of bubbles, and the bottles are capped with these um, bottle caps. You know, like yeah, the, like, the a, pop like a open, soda, like a soda, right? Um, but it is a sparkling. Um, it may be a little cloudy on the bottom from the sediments, and because it's more so a natural, unfiltered wine, and uh, it's I'm, pretty cool. So we're I'm drinking. I'm getting more and more into pet nets. We've had some pretty cool this pet nets lately. So this one is called Sea Foam from Unico Zello. It's out of Australia. It's a Vermentino 2022 Riverland Ancient Sandy Limestone Soils. Nagwait country, a place called Kokomo. This is not a commercial. This is not for our listeners. But Jess over at Unwind highly recommended that she went crazy. We said was and it's actually pretty damn good. You know what I want to say? What for a person who is like might be a beer drinker Mm -hmm. thinking to get into wine? Pet Nat is your pathway into it's wine. It's a great start. Absolutely. It reminds me of beer. It does. But it's, but it's not like beer. It does. You know what I mean? It's like almost like how kombucha is like yeah. the wine, the the alcohol is a little bit, but it's still a little bit of wine kind of yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. It takes me there. The nose of it alone takes me wow. to beer. Yeah, but this is this is yummy. This is really good. That's why I got two bottles. Because mm. I had a feeling the way she was talking about it. Yeah, give me one chilled bottle and one unchilled bottle. You know, um, the, the our experience at Unwind tonight mm-hmm. made me think. And then there's other stuff that happened there that we won't talk about right now, yeah. right? Um, but it made me think about this whole concept of community that we've been talking about. Absolutely. Um, you know, building a community is critical, not just in the creative space. I think. But just in life in general, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah. we experience community um, in different ways today. Yeah, we did. You know what I'm saying? Graduation situation. Mm-hmm. Um, that's family, of course. And, and it's we community. saw our friends too. Our friend, our friend, family. 
Yeah, right. Family. <laughs> we saw our family. Our family. Today. Yeah, that's 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 our community. That's our village. Yes. I mean, our whole our, our whole marriage is based on the concept of village. Absolutely. Right. We talked about this ahead of time, and we agreed on it. And so you know, you have that right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know where community falls in to village. I think village is more of a something that you can really yeah yeah grasp mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And the whole community is kind of like a um. More of a feel, a I guess, or like a, it's yeah. like a, it's more, it's, it's a little less tangible, I think, than Correct. village. Because some of the community that you have, you may have never met in person. That's true. You may exchange good vibes. You may exchange present pleasantries on social media or via email or via text or via DM or what have you. But they are part of a community of like-minded people. Yes. Yes, we believe in some of the same things. We like some of the same things. We believe in each other. Yeah, you know. So I think, um, th- you know, you so you build it, you foster, and you you build these relationships, and you foster them, right? Mm-hmm. You feed them, mm-hmm. um, you nurture them, uh, you build them, and, you know, and you you just pay attention to them. Like, in my in my really heavy whiskey and kicks days of going into DC. To these different events or going to uh if i went to an event in dc i would stop off at some of the bars mm-hmm. just to visit some of the bartenders that i've worked with or that i know and and that just helped to build those relationships because you're a rock star in every whiskey space that you walk into everybody knows your name Brookie! oh whiskey so, and yeah. oh i watch your thing <laughs> oh this is my guy Brookie! He doesn't pay for anything. Oh, stop that. Don't say that. I'm cutting that out. Stop. No, but you (laughs) have a name in the community of people loving what you contribute to the community. And you're not only just contributing, you're also giving back. You do things that encourage other people to help you in giving back to the cause of, of the shoe drive. Yeah, that, that too. And, and it's not just, and so what I was saying contributes to that like stopping off to, to say hello just to, yeah. to check in with them mm-hmm. at these different bars at the, now i would be driving home i'd be driving home <laughs> and they'd be trying every time when i start they're trying to give me shots and stuff trying i'm like no drinks. i'm not here to drink right i got i gotta go i have to go home yeah. um so it's not like i'm doing it to just benefit off of them right but i'm, I'm i really rock with some of them you know what you i'm saying say it's like, hi. I want to say hey, you know what I'm saying? What's good? Part of the hey is, what are you drinking? Right. So then when I come back with my wife for what dinner, for asking? dinner, it, the the bill looks a little different than it yeah. would if I, you know, say. But um, and that's that's community, I think. I, I believe so. I be, I believe that part of the community's piece in in doing the good work and putting out the good information and putting out educational information and putting out innovative information, people will gravitate towards you and join the community. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what, yes, I agree a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. And here we are episode 30 of (laughs) where's brunch. And we've been focusing on getting better at our craft and that will never stop. No, we'll never. However, we are trying to make a conscious decision to build our community. Yes. From this moment forward. Yes. We've been talking about it and we're, we're going to, you know, we're going to just simply just start going live on Instagram more. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just con- we're interacting. We're talking about meet and greets for local folks who want to meet and hang out with we us. We are doing that. We're going to do love a that. meet and greet kind of happy hour thing. The lives a brunch um you know some brunch we have brunch ideas we have brunch ideas because people want to not only i I, a person a listener said to me i want to interact i want to give my feedback directly to you guys so when we're doing these podcasts people want to talk back they're they're yelling probably at their phone kind of like how you do when you're watching joe budden yeah like, yeah you know you're yelling at the phone that's funny that's funny and for me listening to podcasts is really um a bit therapeutic um some people have their different methods 
of listening to podcasts. Jess said she listens yep. to her podcast when she lays down and she's in yeah, her she bed relaxing. Yep. I listen to my podcast while I'm teleworking. I put them on, not as white noise, but as a way for me to really tune in and listen to the discussion and really tune into the topics. Yeah. Because if I'm doing something else, like I'm supposed to be washing dishes or I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> this and that, no, I can't really, you know, and, and if it's a wild topic, then I'm yelling about it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Let yeah. me rewind that. So, you know, the community piece of it is, you know, not only us putting out podcasts, but also hearing back yes from the listeners i do miss that from um sensory, sensory sunday, sunday and we're bringing sensory sunday back yes so that's because a, it has that's been official. requested we are bringing sensory sunday back yeah via where's brunch it's a sensory sunday was its own entity yeah. before but now it's a segment of the where's brunch project yeah. so we will be going live on sunday evenings seven o'clock on mm-hmm. instagram sensory sunday we want to know what you guys are feeling, what you guys are thinking about. Mm -hmm. We want to interact with folks. We want to have conversation and have a good time. And hopefully we'll be having some DJs performing, uh, you know, spending some music in the beginning of the Mm -hmm. sessions at seven o'clock. So seven to seven fifteen, it's just going to be, it's just going to be up. Yeah. Music. (laughs) It's just going to be up. Getting us ready for the combo. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who gave us feedback when we were doing Sensory Sunday that we should do a podcast. Y'all are the reason why we started this. (laughs) Y'all are the reason why we started it. Appreciate it. Seriously. Like, seriously, we really started this podcast because we received feedback and we listened. Yep. Now, Plain and simple. Yep, and that's it. And and some of the, some of those folks who said y'all should start a podcast, they disappeared. But it's cool. The other ones are still here. You know what? We love y'all. But it's also the ways of which people receive the information. It's how they consume because the some people are content. just used to consuming it on Instagram. Man, so yep. there are people who've watched all of our snippets. Yeah. All yes. the shorts that you put out. Yeah, they love they that. They watch those, but they've never gone in and listened to the an actual podcast. full podcast. Yep. Then there are some people who only listen to podcasts. I'm a very auditory learner, so I like to big word. listen to a podcast. You went to college? A 50 cent word. <laughs> um, and then there are folks who are visual learners who want to watch the podcast and look at us and see what we got on and see what we drinking and see what we doing and see how we interact. Yeah. So everyone receives the information and sometimes it's hard for people to jump from one side to the other. One of my good friends from high school said to me, I listen to you guys, but I always mean to go comment on YouTube and I never get to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, just, it's like that. It's, it's, like, it's that. like that. But I, I'm like, oh, girl, don't worry about it. Thank you for listening. Yes, I appreciate it. Just let us know. Yeah. We said this last time. Like, just let us know, yo. Just let us know. Yeah. We love that. We love that. Like, comment, leave a review, wherever you're watching or listening to it. Let us know that you watch. Now, I've gotten myself to the point where... Um, the numbers and stuff like mm-hmm. this is whatever for me because it's mm-hmm. all about for, uh, for me it's all about us perfecting our, our craft mm-hmm. and just building on what we're doing so we're only at episode 30 we're only at episode 30 you know what I'm saying so l- just keep going like you hear stories about people popping off at year five and all yes. that kind of stuff I'm not even focusing what 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 did the, um let's see quincy jones I, I posted something about quincy jones in my story because you know right? quincy jones been wilding for the night hold on, hold on let me turn this, this volume down <laughs> quincy jones he said um hold on let me find this in my stories y'all this is profound and i might not have it so Ooh, think that it, pet think so. but good. he basically said the moment you start talking about success and money the moment a creator starts talking about success and money, God leaves the room. Oh, well, that's not good. You, you know, but you see what he's saying? Like, mm-hmm. focus on the craft, yo. Focus I mean, on the craft. I genuinely love sitting here and talking to you. Well, it's fun. I know that we are a married couple. We um, are. But what you guys maybe don't know who are listening to us, but like four years ago, we didn't even know each other. We didn't even. How about that concept? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I say that to you sometimes. I say that to you. I'm like, yo, can you like? I don't. I don't. You know, we don't. We didn't know each other. We didn't know each other from a can of paint. Okay, we met each other. We connected. We connected on so many levels, 
And these conversations that we're having over the podcast are like real live conversations that we would normally have. We were sitting on the couch. That's true. Sometimes <laughs> I'd be like, yo, stop. Save it. Stop. Save, save it for the pod. Save it for the pod. Save it for the pod. Yo, save save for the pod. pod. Because there was a time when his couch was like the therapy couch. And I would just lay on the couch. You would sit there, yeah. And we would we, just sit and talk, talk and just. So it's it's really great. And it's really great to connect. I love sitting and talking to Joe's mom today and her telling me how she listens. Yes, she is like number one fan. Whiskey and Kicks and Where's Brunch. She is about that life. I Shout love out to Mama. Mama. My other mama. Yes, your other mama. Miss Wilma. Right? Miss Wilma, yeah. Wilma. Shout out to Miss Wilma. Thank you for listening. Philadelphia's to finest. Thank you so much. It was so She nice was supposed to, to be on my on on one of my segments yesterday. We were supposed to do a sneaker yeah. unboxing, which we're gonna get to, but she she's not gonna be a part of it because mm-hmm. she's gonna be going back home. Mm-hmm. However, I wanna say officially right here that I wanna apologize to Wilma Sampson. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna apologize to Wilma Sampson because and this, I was planning this on the show. Really? Yeah, I thought about apologizing to her, to her on the show. Because Joe and I, as youngsters, we would drive up to Philly. Yeah. We would, you know, we'd go into Philly to just run the streets. <laughs> and we would get to Philly. And the first thing we would do is stop at this little spot around the corner from his house called Holidays. Okay. Holidays is just a local neighborhood you know what I'm saying? Cheesesteak spot. Like a bodega? Oh, a cheesecake spot. Yeah, if, you, if Philly had bodegas, it's kind of mm-hmm. like that. To an ex- No, it's not like a bodega. It's just a cheesesteak spot, right? So we would get our cheesesteaks mm-hmm. fresh off the road, get cheesesteaks, go to the house. When we would get to the house, Joe's to Wilma's house, who Joe's mom. When we get to the house, Wilma has cooked roti skins. Listen. She's she's made curry chicken. Listen, she had we have everything you need to make a trinit a roti. If you're not familiar with Trinidadian roti, then get familiar. That's so you, all I can say. You rolling up in her house after she didn't cooked for you. We would sit down. We would even know. We didn't even know, but we knew, but we didn't go know. Home. You understand? Because we go over there all the time. Yeah. We would sit down, devour our cheesesteaks at the table. And run straight back out the house into the street. Oh, Lord. Sweet baby Jesus. And then the rotis is later. Once, once we get home and after whatever. Night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Roti. You know what? I want to I apologize to Wilma. I love her. I love Wilma. Yes, Wilma. Lord have mercy. How you put up with these two? There's not too many, um, you know, women outside of my mom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On that, in that type of love like my mom my boy dex his mom was like another mom for me and then joe's mom wilma love she's so i do anything for her as soon as i walked in trina come here she's the best she is the best i hope i hope she's listening to this i'm sure she will yeah and just to know that you are loved and admired and we're gonna have you on the show oh god (laughs) God, that's gonna oh be my great, gosh, yo. that'll be fun. He's great. So yeah, that's and that's how it was. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a little humor there, of course. Because you know, I know she never felt no way about it. Well, maybe she did, and if she did, I really would feel bad. But we were and young, you know, and we was running moms around. Do. That's what moms do. Moms will make sure that there's a plate, a pot of that food. That is so true. A yo. plate of food for the kids. Yeah. My kids come home. What do they say, Mom? Can you make some cilantro lime rice? Can you make? Whatever they make, a, they got a list. They, they, can you make some salmon? Can you make this? Can you make that? Yeah. Like, and and you make it when your kids come home. You make the food because yep. you know you want to feed them. You want to make sure that they're nourished. Whatever they do, it's up to them. You made yeah. it for them. It's yeah, there for them. it's up, it's there for them to eat. Man, we was in the streets, really. I want some of our real tea. Listen, listen. She uh, she don't make the skins like she used to. Oh. She will, she, but no, no, don't fret. <gasps> She go to Ted's. She go to Teddy's <laughs> House get, of Roti on Georgia them. Avenue. Oh, and she get the, they get the skins from there. From and, there. But she comes with the curry and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll, Wilma, if you listen to this, please hit me up. We got to work some. I told her we will we'll probably visit Philly this summer. Yeah, we need And to. we'll stop by the house this yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, that would be so awesome. We'll stop by the house. I I'll let her know ahead of time. Oh, my gosh. That roti is so good. I love it. It's different. It's not like the restaurant no, stuff, yo. I, love, I want the authentic. <laughs> it's the so real good, at yo. Home roti. Oh my real God. at home roti is different. Yes, it's different, baby. It's different. Oh my so that goodness. that that the roti skin that with um, the crumbs on the inside. Ooh. It's oh my 
God. We y'all y'all better get familiar, man. Oh my gosh. So it's nothing like authentic home cooked meals. It is. It's nothing like it. It's nothing like. And if you, that's what you grown up with. Like you just, you're spoiled. You've been blessed. Well, I'm spoiled at this point. Like, listen, I'm, I'm at home. We're making home. <laughs> the home cooking over here is serious, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, I would invite y'all over, but I don't know if I want y'all over here eating up all my good food. Listen, I've learned that that is what we're supposed to do. I'm supposed to cook. I'm supposed to make sure that we have. You know, proper nourishment. In that's, that's your department. It's my department. Yes. And every now and then I come over there and work. And like, every now and again you come over and knock it out the park. You know what I'm saying? Every, I've got a couple yeah. comments about me chopping up herbs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, today somebody's like, oh, Brocky, you in the kitchen. Jim, 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 chopping jim, up jim, herbs, yeah, Chopping up herbs. Yeah. And that meal was so amazing. Like Appreciate people it. don't understand. It's, it's a great thing. I am the cook in the house. That is my department. But one day I got my nails done and I came home late and he made the dinner and mm-hmm. it was phenomenal. Yeah, it was. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Delic- I mean, As they were saying on Dora the Explorer, delicioso. Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because this concept of sitting there chopping herbs, yeah. measuring them out. Uh-huh. Um, you know, put adding salt and pepper mm-hmm. or whatever, maybe a little red pepper and the olive oil and all this kind of stuff, just to make a marinade. Mm-hmm. This is not like no, this is just to make the marinade. So then you put it on the meat, pause, and the meat sits there for thirty minutes, but ended up sitting there for like two hours because your nail appointments be crazy. <laughs> and um, so this is you know this is something that I learned in this marriage in this relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, wow. Like, she's like, she'll marinate food, marinate meat and stuff, like, right before dinner time. I'm like, how does she get all this done in such a small amount of time? Well, sometimes I start early. I would like. But sometimes it's right on the spot, baby. Sometimes, sometimes you'll run right to the on. store to get food mm-hmm. right before you cook it and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it's like that. I mean, I have my spice blends that I have already in the house that I made. Yes. And, um, and then sometimes I would prefer. Old Trina, when I had kids in the house, would be marinating overnight. Mm. You got to plan out for the kids. Yeah, I had to plan out for the kids. You so I would need to know. For the week, I would usually do it like on Sunday and plan out, okay, on Monday I'm going to make this and I have enough to make it Monday and Tuesday. And on Wednesday, I'm going to make this and it's going to last Wednesday and Thursday. And on Friday, I'm mm. not cooking. Yeah, so, yeah you got to plan that out. Yeah, yeah sure. I would plan and I would marinate my meats in a bag. And they would be sitting in the fridge, like, like a Ziploc bag. In a Ziploc bag, they would be marinating. So yeah, well, you you know, you, I like you. to cook with fresh stuff. Yes, I like fresh God, herbs. I like, I like fresh it, vegetables. I like fresh everything. I like such fresh spices. When when I talk to my coworkers, I listen to talk about the grocery store, and they they say where they're shopping, and I say, well, I only shop the perimeter. And what's, like, what what's do you that? mean? The perimeter is usually the way traditional grocery stores are made. The produce is around the side. The meats or the fish is around the back. And then you come back up and you check out. I don't go through the middle. I don't go through the the packaged, processed rices and all those things because I make everything fresh. I want to apologize to some of these, um, some of our listeners, <laughs> some of the male listeners possibly. <laughs> who, um, this is a somber moment right now. <laughs> I'm sorry if you, uh, <laughs> if your household, <laughs> your wife, your girlfriends, <laughs> maybe even your mom, they don't use terms like the per- shopping the perimeter. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. You've never heard that term before? Sh- shush it. <laughs> I need you to shush. I'm a drink. Okay. You drink. Okay. I've never heard the term shopping the perimeter in my life, and it makes so much sense. You never heard shopping the perimeter. Before? I've never heard shopping the perimeter before. You can um, it yeah, I, I, it makes all the sense because all of the, um, you know, preservatives and all that kind of stuff is all you know the packet, the cans. I mean, canned goods has value. Absolutely. If it go, if it if it goes down, yeah. you want to have some canned goods. Sometimes I need a, a tomato paste. <laughs> yeah, there you some, go. Um, garbanzo beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I make my chili beans, canned beans. Yeah. 
I use canned beans when I make my my chili and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, that's 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 fire. I, I get it. I, I appreciate it, yo. Um, Shop the perimeter of the store. You get the freshest items. Yeah, for and sure. You don't really need if you have if you maintain spices, if you get fresh herbs, all that stuff. You don't need to go to those middle aisles. I don't eat pasta. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't. We don't eat rice. I really. miss. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I miss spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made. I made you zucchini spaghetti. What are you talking about? That's different, baby. That's not. That's not. But the, we don't need that processed food. I miss spaghetti. <laughs> that pasta. <laughs> I used to make that for me and Todd. The last was about yeah. three or four days yeah, until he got bigger and the spaghetti last was like one day. You yeah, eat. I don't make pasta. Yeah, man. Um, you can I don't have know. some um of the um palm. Oh, what hearts is it called? Of, hearts hearts of, of Palm, palm. yo. You yeah. Introduce me to stuff I had never heard of. <laughs> Shit's crazy, yo. So, yeah, shout out to, again, shout out to Wilma. All that to say that. Shout yes. out to Wilma. Yes. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Thank the, you. I appreciate it. Um, it's a different way of living. I appreciate it, for sure. Yes. How you doing over there, man? We doing good? Mm, this pen is good. We barely touched on mm, anything. Mm, we touched on community for a quick second. Uh, but I think we'll talk more about that on Sensory Sunday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. and um, I think that'll be fun, man. So it might be a small gathering tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. Uh, we shoot on Saturdays, if y'all didn't know. Mm-hmm. And um, But I think it'll be fun. Cool. It, the, building this community is about to be fun. I am looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to meeting folks. Meet and greet sounds crazy. Meet and that greet. is dope. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. That's a great location for us. We'll talk to, to them about that. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll figure that out, and then all the other stuff we're working on. Hopefully, you guys get to hear about it soon. Yeah, it's coming. We need to get some more cameras and microphones Ooh, so we can have yeah. guests. Woo! I'll say I'll say this. I, she made me. Um, I had to cut out what I said, but we're gonna have a multi, um, faceted, multi-purpose studio mm-hmm. in this little small room. We're gonna make this space work. Yes, which was the plan to begin with, but it elevated a couple of days ago. Yes, it did. It elevated. All right, so this good stuff, man. So okay, so this week. Uh, on Go- the interwebs. Gossip time. Gossip time. Let's talk about gossip time. Um, Gabrielle Union did an interview where she mentioned that she is constantly grinding, constantly working. She has this fear of being broke mm. um, and that her and Dwayne Wade split their bills 50-50. Right. And ooh, some tables were shaking. <laughs> the People, interwebs. the the black woman delegation, all kinds of things were going. But you have to realize, like, she makes a considerable amount of money. <laughs> right. She's married to a gentleman who is a former NBA player. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's brought up discussions about households, finances relationships because there's the the thought or the mindset in some families that the man should be the provider and Mm -hmm. take care of and pay for and pay all the bills and do all these things where she's making this statement as a successful black woman in a successful marriage that she and her husband split the bills 50 50 right and child, have problems with. you would have thought she said that he made her bleach her hair blonde. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I get it. It's a shock for people. But everyone's financial situation is different. You cannot equate your life to that of a Hollywood movie star, top earning black woman in, t- in film compared to us regular folks. Not Society. only not only is everyone's financial situation different, mm-hmm. people um, the way people approach life is different, mm-hmm. right? So some people feed into the the narratives that are fed to them. They chew it right up. They eat it right up, right? About who's supposed to be doing what. It's no blanket way of doing things. 
No, there isn't. There's no blanket way of doing things. So if if splitting the bills 50-50 works for them, if that's what they want to do, then that's fine. That doesn't say that he is uh, making her do that Mm -hmm. or that she, you know, doesn't want to do it or or whatever. It, It doesn't say anything but that's what works for them. And that's what people don't seem to not, they seem to not understand that. I think a lot of folks, particularly in the black community, are failing to realize that in many households, the woman is the breadwinner. Uh, A zillion times over. It happens all the time. All the time. So in many instances, the women are earning more and are taking on more of the lion's share of the bills because of the financial dynamics in the household. Right. If I if I hooked up with Oprah somehow. <laughs> shout, what out. The, shout out to Stedman. Sh- shout out to Stedman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stedman, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, you got to show up. But listen, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, l- let me use a... a um, a better example. What's my homegirl? What's my girl's name? Sports, sports Martha. Literature? If I hooked up with Martha, right? <laughs> you know, Martha. Martha. Martha is a billion dollar industry. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a baby named Martha in twenty twenty three? Anyway, <laughs> if I hooked up with Martha, who do you think gonna be paying the mortgage? Martha. What are you talking about? She's a billionaire or a millionaire, whatever it is. And here I am at. Whatever my salary is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say on air. <laughs> right. But not that it's chump change, but it's chump change compared to that. Right. If that's what we worked out, then that's what we worked out. Like, mm-hmm. what's the expectations? We live in in um, the hills in California. Mm-hmm. You think I'm going to pay a fucking mortgage here? What are you talking about? Right. I can't. Yeah, so, right. um, people, what is, it all depends on the situation. So, okay. Two folds for this. People have to have realistic conversations about their financial status Mm. and with their significant others. The expectations, maybe meeting with a financial planner, maybe, you know, just having those real conversations about responsibilities. But in this day and age with the salary parameters being many times flipped and women are the higher earners, particularly in the black communities where women are higher degreed, higher wage earners, all these things. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just going to work out that way. It's just going to work out that way. <laughs> you know and 50, I mean? 50, I mean, if you guys are making primarily the same amount, what is the big deal? Not saying, and let me say this, cause I've been in a situation where there was a time in the start of my career where I was married and my spouse was earning almost three times as much as me Mm. at the beginning of my career. Yeah. At the beginning of my career, that was about the salary. Um, And then by the end of our marriage, we were probably earning about the same. Right. Over the time, the progression of my career and salary earnings. Um, the expectations, because I remember meeting with a financial planner then and talking about the seesaw and, and well, because you only make this, then you should be responsible for blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you still need to be able to live and do what you need to do and pay your individual bills and all those kind of things. So you have to have those conversations, but you have to be realistic no doubt. about what your household. But for the folks who are looking for no matter what, The man just needs to pay for everything. Right. It's just like, mm, right now, 2023, is that really realistic? Look, I was watching, speaking of the Joe Budden podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Which is my favorite podcast. Which really is actually the only podcast that I watch. Wow. Considering I watch like four other podcasts. Yeah. That's the only one that I really watch. Um, Some of the, you know, uh, million dollars worth of, I don't watch them. Um, Drink camps every now and then. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the guest or whatever. What's That's not dude, really a podcast. But what's the dude? Um, what's the dudes in the barbershop? You watch them. Math Hopper every now and then. But yeah. consistently, you know, two days a week. Yes. I I'm watching Joe Budden podcast. And then, uh, 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 what, 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 what's the name? The only consistent podcast that I'm yes. watching is the Joe Budden podcast. Okay. And besides ours. Shout out to Noriega. Right, shout out to Nori, man. I love you know what I'm saying, but mm-hmm. but 
what I was what I was getting to is that they had one episode where Parks uh-huh. randomly I don't know if it was randomly but Parks mentioned that uh, he and his wife split things fifty fifty. I think I remember. And that. and the other crew the crew gave him a hard time about it. Now you know whether it was potting or serious whatever it doesn't matter. But on the show they gave him a hard time about it, mm-hmm. and he was like she wanted that. That's what she asked for. She I wanted him to do that. I remember so I had that. let her do that. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So who knows what the deal is, what the case is, what the scenario is um, from the outside. You you know, yeah, we, we judge. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you need to mind your business. Okay, so what are your feelings on it? Because you said you had some strong feelings about it when I well, brought it to you on Monday. Well, I have strong feelings about people having a problem with it. Because specifically black women having a problem with it because you have these two narratives going parallel that shouldn't be parallel. One is this whole independence shit. (laughs) But then you have then on the same parallel running parallel to that is the man should be taking care of every fucking thing. Mm. You can't have both of them. Mm. I don't you know, I don't need this and. I should you know equal and all this other shit. So, how, how can you have both of those running parallels with each other at the same fucking time? I mean, I think it's a lot of just misinformation, and also maybe a lot of people who aren't earning as much as they're spending. Well, that, <laughs> of course, of course, shit. Like you have to limit <laughs> your debts. You can't be out here with every Louis and all of these things. And then expecting, you can't be out here balling out of control, buying all this stuff and not contributing to your household. But it's, yes, I agree with you a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. And that it, it lends to a mentality, mm-hmm. right? There's a mentality here that mm-hmm. that's at play. So that's a whole other mentality right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then there's this mentality that the same people arguing that, you know, um, women, I don't need this and I don't need that and I can do it on my own and women's rights and women are equal and, and we should get the same pay and all mm-hmm. this other shit, which there's some validity to some of those arguments. Because women make 60 cents on the dollar compared to men. There should be, there's a bit, like I said, there's validity mm-hmm. in, in a lot of those arguments. Then at the same time, you're saying that when you, when she's paying 50, 50, 50, that you you're barking at it that she shouldn't be doing that he should be taking care of everything. Well, what the fuck should it be? That's my question. What the hell should it be? I think that every why should the man should be why should the man be taking care of everything? Why is it's it, an old it's an old right it's an old antiquated theory. Now, if the woman is the housemaker at home and the husband is the breadwinner, she's home taking care of the children. Then I think the answer is pretty clear. How rare is that these days? I don't know. I don't know the statistics and the numbers. I don't know. How rare is that in our community? I don't know because every woman that I know got a job and a hustle. People out here getting it. A what are we talking about? And, a, and maybe one or two side hustles. Right. So I don't know. I think. Mm, it, it, connect on a higher level. Mm-hmm. Fuck the money. Yeah. We didn't have a conversation about what you do. Or what I do or how much money it brings in. We didn't have this conversation. We've never had this conversation. I found out how much money you make annually. And I think vice versa. When we talked to a financial advisor together after we were already already married. We never said how much do you make? Uh, how much do I make and all this other dumb shit that don't fucking matter when you connect with someone on a universal level. Oh my gosh. That's true. I didn't. I'm not I concerned didn't. with that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't no, we didn't. Because no. I have my own bills and I pay my own shit. And because I've got kids and I've got responsibilities. You know why you didn't care, Trina? I didn't care. You know why you didn't care? Why? Because I can I can come to your house, walk through the door, and say hi. You say hi to me. And I look at you and say, what's, my, what's, what's going on? That's true. You did that a couple All times. All right. Because we connect on a deeper level. It's not about... Fucking money! Are you gonna pay for my my light bulb three sixty? Hey man, we worked that we worked that out. <laughs> I was just checking. I was worked that out. I just thought it out there. <laughs> we worked that out. You know what I'm saying? Light bulb three sixty. I'm getting it. Get my Drake abs. 
<laughs> no, but that's crazy. But you know, not we to go did. crazy here, but but we did meet with a financial planner, and and yeah, we did. At that moment At is that when moment, we found we out how, how much, much you make and how much. And I we make. was married. We're already married. <laughs> it's not important. Married. It's it's you know what I'm saying. Look, yeah. we we worked our. Our little, you know, we start working through our bills and shit like that, and what we, how we want to pay things and whatnot. And it's like, look, um, you know, as me just being who I am, not as a man, but just who I am, it's like, are right, we gonna take care of these things? And some things, I'm just not gonna let. You don't need to worry about these things. Yeah, because I'd be asking things, question like, so, what about the yeah the Verizon bill? You be like. <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> like some things you just don't have to worry about. Like, but what about the electric bill? You like, Shh. right? <laughs> but, about, but what about because you know when you're coming from a state of being a single mom living alone and you know being responsible for all these bills by yourself, your mindset is already clicking on all of these bills. Like mm-hmm. I gotta pay this, I gotta pay this, I gotta pay this. It's running down the list. And it was like this like this exhale moment of wait, oh, okay. Cause remember I asked you like the next month the, like I think it was like January or something. I was like, well what about the whatever whatever? You was just like There's things that you just have a, you don't have to worry about okay and that's it. and that's fine you know what i'm saying like yeah. look come on man so um connect on a deeper level y'all like stop i'm not gonna tell you what to stop doing you yeah. keep doing whatever the hell you want to do but i'm just i'm giving you advice it's like consider it's- connecting on a deeper level and consider um getting out of, off of that surface level of money driving everything it's rough <laughs> because a single mom and a single woman many times is struggling to stay above water. You're doing so much just to stay above water. Mm-hmm. You're doing, you're juggling so many things, so many activities. Your your money is, is coming in. The cash flow is here. It's there. And I've had conversations with friends or, and, and they're like, well, if they were married and they were in situations with with a partner that maybe wasn't disclosing or maybe as honest as you know they they just weren't disclosing <laughs> and it was a, it was a, a a problem you know because if your partner is in forthcoming and you're coming to the table and y'all are trying to like build something and you can't build something with someone who's not forthcoming those are not the women that's out here talking about all this shit you know who the women are who talking about all this dumb shit? Oh. The chicks going to Brazil to get their asses done. Mm. Those are the chicks that's talking about all this dumb shit. Those women right there, they're not out here talking about all this all this dumb shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because well, that's their say, situation and that's valid what you're saying. Yeah, for the BBL chicks, I don't envy you. I'm with you. Right. But, <laughs> but I mean, I just think that in the reality of life today, we have degrees we have multiple degrees. I have a degree. I have a, an advanced degree. I have a career. I've had a career now of 19, um, 10 years. And I've worked very hard to build this career. And if I'm having a partnership with my partner, we're working together towards common goals. If we're splitting shit 50-50, we're splitting shit 50-50. If that works for the household. It works for the household. And brings success to everybody, then Then who cares? I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I make this amount, and oh, you make that amount, but you need to pay for everything, and I'm going to keep all my money. Guess what? And guess what? For those people out there, right? When you do that. When you when you do that, all right. Well, you make this much, and boom, boom, boom. You should be doing A, B, and C, right? Because you make this much, okay. right? And when you blow up mm-hmm. in your hustle, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden now you make more than his ass makes. Oh Lord Jesus! Are you coming back to the table? No. Are you coming back to the table? Oh, I make more now, so I should be paying more. No, his ass still should be paying. Yeah. You, you understand mean, what I'm saying? It's, like it's those conversations. Very unrealistic. In the in the spaces that I move with the women that I know and move with, we are successful. We are accomplished, and many women in in my friend circle, and even outside of my friend circles, who are just associates, successful, accomplished. They've got side hustles plus a main salary. Like the mm-hmm. realistic conversations, especially if you're working with a financial planner. 
No. The husband isn't paying for everything. Shit, child care alone is making y'all split the bill. <laughs> Yo, so shout out to us. Being out of child care. We ain't got no kids. We ain't got no kids. We ain't got no kids. Listen, <laughs> listen, you got grown up. I got a dog. They still who hit costs- me. Ty still hit me in my pocket. You yeah. said what? What the I dog? I got a dog who costs a lot. <laughs> he he costs fifty dollars a month for his insurance. About a hundred dollars a month for food, snacks, and other things. And guess who ain't sharing half of that? I pay that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I make it up though. The ways. I love him. Though. I love him. And happy <laughs> birthday to Beans today. Happy birthday, Beans. Beans. He's the, those that did it's all seven birthdays. He's what seven a day. Seven years He's old. He's older than old all head. of us. My baby is older than all of us today. Happy birthday, Beans. Beans He's just laying down there. Yo, man. Great conversation i got a little hype you know yeah what I'm little, i think we both got a little hype we both today. got a little hype at different Listen. times a little, but a no tipsy. really i think that this whole conversation about finances and money in 2023 if you're in a healthy relationship with your partner where y'all are disclosing everything mm-hmm. and you're looking at what what <sighs> i make versus what you make and what we bring Oh Lord, I hate the phrase "bring to the table" because that's some bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Okay, that that phrase. It's one of but those phrases. When you're all coming together and you're working together as a unit and you're progressing, I believe that this whole the the whole idea that the man should pay pay for everything, yeah, it's a it's particularly outdated. Yeah, it just really depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. If the man's demanding that his wife stays home and take care of the kids, then he should be paying everything. Guess what, player? <laughs> you, you understand what I'm you saying? If the, if the man says, no, I don't want you to go to college to further advance your, your career First or of all, advance yourself. why are you going to tell me that you don't want me to go to college Listen, to further don't, my career? Don't even go, don't even go there because uh, there's some men out there with this mentality. Uh, and there, there, there may be some women miss who... Miss me with the... Yeah, and there may be a woman there with that person that says, okay, well, if I'm not going to go advance my career and so on and so forth, go get my master's degree, then you pay the fucking bills if you don't want me to further my career. Like, right. uh, there's situations where it is it is what it is. Like, if the man's demanding things, or if the woman might be demanding some things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's cases where the woman's demanding shit, and the guy say, okay, well, then, guess who's paying the bills? Okay. Can we talk about scammers? Oh man, we got we got shout out to the scammers. We're closing out <laughs> shout on scammers. Shout out to the social media scammers who are getting called up on fraud charges and being extradited to Y'all the United crazy. States. There's a Ghanaian woman who um was extradited from London to the United States for scamming the man for se- for scamming lonely American, lonely <laughs> American men. In upwards of two million dollars, she was saying that they were married. She was saying that they were in a relationship, and she had a network of things. How the hell you married somebody? Y'all you married met? in Ghana. In someone Ghana, you never met. The, hey, I don't know, but either way, there was a gentleman who sent her eighty-eight thousand dollars. And when I looked at her, she had like the boom pow. She was. <laughs> She had been somewhere, had snatched some work with the Balenciaga bag. She was living her best life. She was snatched. Um, and I was just like, "Wow, these scams are still happening on social media." Scammers still scamming. Scammers are still scamming, and you got to give it up for the girls because the girls are out here selling dreams to folks and getting paid. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I'm Shout sorry. out. Hold up. Black black man delegation. Don't worry about it. I got this covered. Wait a minute. We are celebrating scammers. Women's black women scammers. Not, we celebrating scammers. I'm not celebrating scammers, but I'm I'm like, you gotta use what you got to get what you want. If these dudes are up here dumb enough to send millions no, of dollars I'm not, to a woman, no, come on, I'm not son. letting that ride. All right, <laughs> fuck the double standard <laughs> shit. All right, you out here Listen. taking care, taking advantage of people who are in a vulnerable state. Whether you're a man or what a woman, vulnerable? then that is frowned upon. 
Listen, you got to pay to pay. You know, some women charge. You say you got to pay to play? You know, some women charge just to have a conversation. Cash at me $40 if you want to text me. I do understand that. I've seen that. I was shocked. Like, wait, that's a thing? Like, we, you charge for they, conversation you know what? now. Ne- shout out to Netflix. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need to see. Start seeing some women documentaries of the, them scamming men, lonely American men into giving up their eighty eight thousand dollars for Listen, her to go get her body snatched up. Her body. I want is some documentaries. Snatched. There's so many double standards out here. Well, what is the double standard? The Malone? double standard that we would never celebrate a man doing this to a woman. There have been men who have done it. We watched the video. It's, and it's we, horrible. We watched, we watched a man do it. The Nigerian princess is horrible. Mm. It's all the trash. The Nigerian prince has been sending, oh, I'm a, you're my, I'm a prince. And if I send you this thing in email, it's black money or something. And you can send this back to me and all this shit. They've been sending emails. You know, you know what the sad so part? These women are on Instagram and these lonely American men are reaching out to them because they think they're so beautiful and they want to talk to them and be with them. You know what the the saddest part about this is? Mm-hmm. That the black woman delegation is going to support you in this. The black what? woman delegation, I'm going to need y'all to step it up. What you mean? You are celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> and she got the a women, few trips. Women. Excuse me? <laughs> This, y'all see this shit? This shit is horrible. And she got a few chicks. This is my wife. She got her boobs done. She got her waist snatched. She's got Balenciaga selling, bags. Selling pipe dreams. Selling pipe dreams. Hey, it ain't tricking if you got it. That that doesn't actually fit this, but you know what? We're going to let that ride. I like it. Content is every Content is king. We're going to let but that ride. Seriously, if you... If I'm on Instagram and you are I you are in my DMs and you think that we in a relationship and I ask you for money and you send it, what am I doing wrong? Well, according to US law, <laughs> <laughs> there's actually a crime committed somewhere in there because the chick you were talking about has been extradited to the US to face charges. I know. I'm I, I'm just like, wow. Boo boo, you had to get a better network so you didn't get busted. You know what? You know what? You know what time it is right now? <laughs> it is time for this. Hey! All right. <laughs> Episode 30, episode 30. Bro. Episode 30. Hey, 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 we are here and we ain't going nowhere. See, we are here and we ain't going nowhere. Where's Brunch Podcast? Where's Brunch <laughs> Podcast? Where's Brunch Podcast? Where's we ain't Brunch going nowhere. Podcast? The sea bone. Yes. Mm. Yo, man, appreciate you. I appreciate you. you Great pod. Great pod. Thank you, man. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And as hey, always, hey. please like. I love you. I love you. We were supposed to say this in the beginning, huh? We were supposed I to say was. that. Please like, follow, comment, share on our streaming platforms on Instagram and YouTube. We appreciate you. If hey. you didn't watch, if you didn't listen to this all the way through, <laughs> I'm going to stop short of calling you an idiot, <laughs> but I'm just saying, man, this, was this fun. is one for the books right here. Oh my gosh. Episode um, 30. Episode 30. Uh, um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you more. Great the show. The key grip guy. Hey. Hey. You can, you have a couple of great ideas this weekend, so we're going to work on those. Let's um, execute. Everybody, we'll see y'all next week, right? Yes, and happy birthday, Beans. Oh, Lord. It's his seventh birthday. Y'all be good, man. Later.